Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Returns. We are finally at the final scene of this game. Let's see how well my three lives hold up. Ah, well at least I can get this one and hit all three guys at the same time. And we get another guy with a bomb, and he walks right into his own bomb. That is just the best way you could possibly just start an, start an episode, and I actually wanted to hit that biker, but I didn't get the chance to. I will get to hit that. I will get to hit that one though. Oh, nice little chain reaction going on there. Uh, I really wanted to do a little head bashing, but I guess that's not going to be the case now, is it? Now it's going to be just more careful maneuvering. A lot of bazooka plans at the beginning. A lot of bikers, too. And I haven't even taken any damage yet. Just be careful as you move through the stage. There's going to be a lot of guys moving around. And we now have four lives. Yummy. Ooh. Ah! That accursed reach. Oh, you just had to stop right there, didn't you? Okay. These penguins are gonna shoot missiles. You will see them from both the foreground and the background. When you see them, you're better off just blocking entirely. That way, you'll take, you'll still take a lot of damage, but not as much as if you weren't blocking. And that makes a lot of difference. All right. Any more before I go? Well, okay, well there's this guy. I, they kind of track you somehow, and I forget how they do it, but they do track you somehow. And you can just see how I went from just short of a full health bar to just short of dying in just seconds right there. And I'm just constantly on the alert for enemy. Okay, did not expect that to happen. Eight foot. Okay, um. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> hit that guy out of the air. That wasn't part of the menu. But, hey, I'll take that hit. I'm gonna die here. Whether I want to or not. At least I wasn't knocked down from that one hit and just. killed entirely. That just. delayed the inevitable. I'm getting a lot of head bashing in. Ah, I was trying to do another head bash and it didn't work. At least I hit that guy out of the air. Before I could do any more damage than what I've already been exposed to. Didn't think I'd get through this without a scrap. Ah. Ah, oh, you just thought you could get away with that, didn't you? And yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah, with any luck, they just might hit those guys instead. And I lost another life, but that's to be expected. We're going to lose quite a bit of lives. The more lives you come in here with, the better this stage is going to be. Trust me on that. Uh, 
Ну! Hopefully I'll be back to three lives when I get my next one. Eighth and last in the game. Thankfully we're near the end. We should be able to refill on health here. And we are. And I don't even know how I managed to dodge all those. Don't ask. Ah, I'm taking a, taking a bigger beating than a redheaded stepchild here. Should not have went for that. I guess I'm gonna have to rely on dumb luck for this, won't I? And here's the first watch was the duck vehicle. And it's pretty hard to get under underneath and just dodge entirely. Apparently, I don't take that much damage from the missiles that I thought I would. You basically want to hit the head of this thing, get as much damage as you can, the more you can get into it. And why did I jump in that direction? Durr. And uh, basically, once you destroy this thing, You'll be able to get inside a duck vehicle and take on the penguin mano a mano one last time. Oh! Sometimes you'll do that. You basically want to avoid doing that. Don't get in close when he... Okay, move in a little diamond pattern. You want to move like the opposite direction of where he goes. And if he does that, just throw a bomb. Throw a bomb. And into the into the mix. If you want to get in close, try to do the same the same way you basically did with Catwoman. And yeah, just move this way. Just do a little dozy do action with them. Stop it. Uh, this is impossible. You, def you definitely don't want to be near him when he gets up because he'll just do some grab and bite attack. Or and he'll then he'll go to those tactics. Which are really crap. That was what I was wanting to do, just a whole full grab combo deal. And I can still do this on one one continue. Still doable. What directions are gonna go in. Yeah, you also want to avoid those as well. Just end this already. Bang. He's gone. And wow. With that, that's the end of Batman Returns. This part of the ending you will get if you beat the game on hard. If you beat, beat it on normal or easy, you won't get this picture. Yeah, no, I'm not excited to beat this game, but I've beaten it several times. I've done a few one continue only mania runs. Me ending it with only one life is a common occurrence. And this screen shows up if you beat it on either Special or Mania. Where Catwoman answers the bat signal, believe it or not. And 
If you beat the game on normal or above, you get the credits. If you do it on easy, you won't get them at all. You'll just get the whole, hey, you beat the penguin text. And that wraps up the first LP! Well, this is actually a really decent movie to game transition. A lot of the games that come out now, not so much. But Konami, back in the day, they could take anything and make it, make it into an awesome game. They did this with Batman Returns, they did this with Animaniacs, did this with Tiny Toons on more than one occasion. Konami can never make a bad game. And I know what you're saying, well what about uh, Benches of Bayou Billy? Well, technically it's not a bad game, but they ramp the challenge up way too hard, and it just falls falls apart just because of the challenge. Everything else is fine, it's just the challenge. That's why I can't really hate on it, because the better, diff better difficulty balance on Mad City with the Japanese version of it, it's a lot better. But anyway, this is a really good game. I suggest re giving it a shot best Batman game out there until Arkham Asylum and the Arkham sequel Arkham City came out. Until those two came out, this is like the game to go to, and still is. Maybe we got the combat system and everything. And yeah, but if you if you see it, go get it. And this is the ending screen that you get when you beat the game on Mania. That looks really good for Super Nintendo. Just shows how great his graphics were for the time. System had only been around for two or three years and this just shows what Konami could do with a newer system at the time. So not surprisingly, a lot of the games that Konami made for the 16-bit era, a lot of them hit Super Nintendo. Well, that wraps things up. This was the first LP, and hopefully it won't be the last. Until then, I'm going to find another game to uh, whet your appetite with, hopefully. One that I've done pretty well on. One that warrants a, a decent LP run. And basically that's it. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest saying take care, stay safe, and see you next game.